Hey everyone, it's Saruke, and it's another birthday haul! <laughs> it's the last one for my birthday week thing. Unfortunately, um, a lot of the stuff I've ordered hasn't arrived yet. Uh, one thing I paid customs for, like, earlier this week, so I'll probably get that the next. And then, it was just hard to, like, sort of find stuff, uh, or find the things I wanted, actually. So, um, uh, I've ordered a couple of more things that are on their way, so... Throughout June, you'll probably see a lot more hauls than usual, and that's because it's my it's my birthday. It's my birthday gifts for myself. Uh, so anyway, when I was in Malmö yesterday, I bought a couple of more things. And I have my watercolor cases here because I bought uh, two pans of uh, St. Petersburg White Knights and two pans of Windsor Newton. So I actually need to change this because... <laughs> I have two more pans in here now, but it is, let's see, this color and this color. And they are the, there they are, let's see. It's the Cranacridone Rose, which is this one here. And I also got the, let's see, Indantharine Blue, I think it's called, and that's that one over there. So it's a really dark blue. And those are the two pans I got there. Still need to update that thing. So that was those, and then I also got the Winsor Newton ones, which I'm going to fill in there. It's those two, which are the, let's see, a Prussian blue and Purple Lake. So those were the half pants, whole pants, the dry water colors I got. Then I also got, just thinking about it kind of gives me heart palpitations, but I have started to pan them. Let me just get all the tubes. I bought Daniel Smith watercolors. I was going between the Daniel Smith and the Rembrandt, but I was like, just just go, just go ham. Go for the <laughs> go for the really expensive one. So here are the colors I picked up. I did look up a set. On, because they had no finished set in the boutique where I went, so um, I looked up like starter kits for Daniel Smith online and I found one with six tubes. So I got the Thalo Blue Green Shade, the French Ultramarine, the Cornacridone Rose Pyrol, Pyrol Scarlet, the Hansa Yellow Light, and then the new Gamboge. So that was the starter kit I based that off of. And then I got a sepia and a paint gray just to have two really dark in warm and uh, cold colors too, like just so I can mute out colors a lot more easy, easily. Uh, I panned them yesterday, so they're still not dry, kind of glossy. So this is like, this is the most expensive gift I've ever gotten myself, I think. Like watercolor wise, holy crap. And I am so excited to try them. Um, I really, really want to try them. So yeah, that was what I got from that one store. I'm gonna put this off screen again. And the tubes are just really pretty. Can I just say? The tubes are just really pretty. They're going to have to stay there. <laughs> then I went to a different store. We can start with this because this is a sort of Frankenstein job. So you all know I had this pen or this mechanical pencil. Which was the Penac Chubby 10. And they don't make those anymore. But I found this. Which is the Penal Jumbo 1.3. Exact same pen but with a more, like 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 a giant lead inside. This is a 0.5, and this was a 1.3. So what I did was that I just, I switched the insides. So I put my 0.5 barrel, or my 0.5 feeder, feeder inside the panel one, and then I put the 0.3 in my chubby 10, and it works just fine. <laughs> so I've sort of just Frankenstein my pen. I'm really happy that worked. And then I also got art line the 210 medium and the 220 super fine they look like this I've had an art line fine liner before and I really like that one so I want to try these and then I got this which is a Faber Castell pit pen with Indian Indian ink and it's white so I'm really excited actually I don't know if it shows up on camera but I have like an X there that is that ink I have since washed my washed my hands. I did this yesterday and it's still on there. So I'm thinking a new highlighter. <laughs> then I also got this. 
which is, where did I put the paper thing though? So it had this ribbon on it. So it's by Canson. It's the Art Book 180 uh, sketch. It's 96 gram paper in 14 by 21 centimeters, or five and a half by eight and a half inches, 80 pages. The thing about it is that it doesn't really have a spine. It's like fabric tape. So when you open it, it lays flat and you can actually, you can, you can do this. So I'm just really excited about that. Um, to have a sketchbook that like willingly, one that is this thick, that lays flat willingly. So I'm really excited to get to use this. And that was the last of the art related things I bought for myself. Um, and as I said, I still have more things rolling in. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week of extra extra videos. Uh, until next time, keep on scribbling friends. Bye!